All right, what we have here is a nice addition that Toby and family sent me is these uh, coping saw blades. Now, it's it's really made for a coping saw. I knew I had this thing somewhere, so I went digging around underneath the uh, desk here and found it. It'll still work. The name of the game around here is Adapt and Improvise. All right, so... What it's enabling me to do is to make some fine cuts down here and get it a lot closer instead of having to sand everything. I'm still going to leave that, you know, top shape up there, but I wanted to do this cut out where the lanyard hole goes on the knife. I wanted to leave that cut out there. All right, so that's just a little coping saw update. And, uh... Yeah, you just, you just, like that. You just take your time, make your cut, and yeah, helps out a lot. Hand tools, yeah, so, you yeah, you will, you will appreciate a, a knife if you ever go to even just attach a handle to a knife, you know. Yeah, well, one of these, it can be as simple as you could just wrap it with paracord, you know, and you'd have a knife handle. This actually feels not too bad. It's a little thin, you know, but not too bad in hand just like this. But knife making is a lot more involved than just slapping a couple of pieces of wood on a handle. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Just a little update. So, of course, Toby wouldn't send me just the... Blade. He's gonna send me the whole saw. This is a Irwin Marples coping saw with a Pro Touch grip. And uh, for those of the people that are wondering where it's made, it's made in Vietnam. And that's that's something that all these people that are anti-Chinese. I wonder if they, if there was a lot of Vietnam-made knives, if they'd start freaking out about, especially Americans. Yeah, it's made in Vietnam. War's over, dude. You know, war's over. Anyway, yeah, this helps out a lot. Now, what I did was I drilled out the holes. For this wood cover here. And then, uh oh, I just heard it go dink. I heard it go dink. Anyways, well now I gotta go find the screws. But the barrels, I drilled out the covers for the barrels. And now I'm to the point where I'm gonna countersink the screws to match, you know, so that it won't bite into the wood here, but it'll go down deep enough. So I'm gonna have to use a wider drill bit let me go find those screws too this is where if you got like one side of the wood is better looking to you than the other uh that's where you flip it over this is kind of like the i guess a little bit better looking side than the other one they both look good but now i've got to countersink this what you're doing with countersink is the head of the screw is wide but you don't want it to go all the way down I mean, I guess you could, but you want it to only go down far enough to tighten up the handles. Kind of tricky. It's a depth thing. Mathematics, I guess. And I'm finished. Just a little thick in the hand, but <laughs> no. Yeah, the first connection is on. There's some things I need to do with this one, of course. But, uh, yeah, I was going to use the other side, but I can sand this down because this is pretty thick. Pretty thick in the end. Frame lock. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. We're getting somewhere. It's always cool to have a template to work off of. Then I just trace the outline again, you know, when I attach it. Like I traced it on this side. I'm going to trim this excess off as much as I can with the saw. Just try to cut down like that with that. And then the rest of that... I should be able to get with just sanding and rasping.
All right, so I rasped me down the top. This is just like rough finish down here. And the uh, good thing about this rasp is when you start getting towards the metal, you can hear it. It goes and starts sliding. Uh, so I know I've got that down. Now I'm just going to sand this down to roughly meet the metal. I'm not going to hacksaw or cut any more of this. I'll just sand it. But it's coming on pretty foot, pretty good, and then we'll have one handle done, and then I'll just have to repeat the process for the other side. And then we'll have a functional knife. It feels a little bit thick right now, but I'm going to contour it, you know, smooth it down a little bit. Made pretty good progress. Sanded down this side. Started sculpting this a little bit. It is going to be a little bit thick. I might try to figure out. Because I'd like it about. A third of that size. Or maybe a quarter of it down. Because I'm going to have the other handle on it. Anyway. Yeah I got myself somehow. Not with the knife. I think with one of these. I ran into something. At least saw blades or something. There you go. That's my progress so far. Making progress.